Would you like a custom kitchen without the expense? In this video we are going to show you how to create a custom kitchen out of an IKEA kitchen. A good alternative is to simply bling up an IKEA kitchen instead. So what we do is we use the IKEA framework and customise the finishes. So you get the look of a custom kitchen but without the price tag. In this video we are going to share with you no less than 12 different custom designed IKEA kitchens. It is a mixture of renovations and extensions and each IKEA kitchen has been specifically designed for each situation. And we've also got you covered for customised kitchen cabinets, worktops, kitchen units, kitchen islands and a load more kitchen design ideas besides. One thing you'll discover here is just how customisable IKEA kitchens really are and how you can tailor them for your home. After you go through this video your brain will be exploding with IKEA kitchen ideas and you'll be able to apply a lot of what you discover here to your own kitchen. So let's get going. Custom IKEA Kitchen Number 1 Custom IKEA Kitchen Companies If you're looking for custom finishes for your IKEA kitchen and kitchen cabinets there are several large companies who specialise in doing that for IKEA kitchens and each offer a different aspect of kitchen design. One is Kokina whose kitchen you can see in the picture. I love the purple tones of this kitchen and the light blue worktops and walls. Another company is called Reform who we will see later in this video with a gold kitchen. Yes you heard that right. Semi Handmade is one of the larger ones who you'll also see later. Plykea is another one who special in plywood finishes. They really thought long and hard about that name. And for the more funkier designs there's Superfront. For minimalists there's Norse Interiors. And inexpensive stick on options is Frontly by Pretty Pegs, who sell finishes you simply stick onto your kitchen cabinets. Husk is a Bristol based company that customises everything from kitchen cabinet doors to worktops to sinks and handles. But of course, most kitchen carpenters will be able to customise your IKEA kitchen for you. Custom IKEA kitchen number 2 is a very clever kitchen, especially if you have small kids. This IKEA kitchen has some interesting aspects that apply to every kitchen. There are some really clever kitchen design tips here. You'll notice that there is lighting in all the IKEA kitchen cabinets and drawers, which really brightens up the place, not to mention make it easier to find stuff. They also have drawers pretty much everywhere instead of typical cabinet doors. These are a great use of space and keep the place tidier as a result. There's also a soft close on the drawers, which means you just touch them and they bring themselves back into place. They did need to raise the ceiling to fit everything in and the kitchen space really benefits from that. They have an induction hob. A note here is that induction hobs don't stain like an electrical hob and they heat water 53% faster than gas. And finally the cleverest thing about this IKEA kitchen is that you'll notice that the microwave is down beside the oven, which does two things. It gets it out of the way and out of your face on the worktops and number two it is also a good level for kids to use and nicely tucked away. Custom IKEA Kitchen Number 3 Bracketry as a Design Feature This IKEA kitchen costs $7,000 to build and construct. The first thing that catches the eye is the blue green storage units and they look just great. And the colour works well with the pale timber floor and the dark grey kitchen panels. The workspace is very functional between the hobs and the sink. One thing to note about this particular kitchen is that it uses the bracketry as a design feature. The black shelf support brackets contrast nicely against the white tiles. This could have been carried further throughout the kitchen, like having a black window frame up against the white jam head and sill, which would make it look even better. Custom IKEA Kitchen Number 4 Dark Route Lines to Show Off the Tiling This kitchen has a quartz worktop, which is a great alternative to marble and extremely durable too. Here's a tip for cleaning tough stains from worktops. Mix baking soda with water and that will sort it out. The dark grout lines between the tiles also give a nice separation line between the tiles and they look great. The pink rug in the middle makes a beautiful contrast with the white kitchen and is a nice feature, although not sure how often they need to clean it. A gripe I have with this IKEA kitchen is that the fridge isn't recessed and it sticks out quite a bit. The white kitchen cabinets are from the 4 Batra range. Custom IKEA kitchen number 5 is a stainless steel beauty. This is an interesting kitchen in that it originally has tiled worktops which make it look like a bathroom. I'm not surprised they changed it. The new kitchen design is completely different. The new kitchen design has made the kitchen panels stainless steel which reflect a lot of light around the kitchen and give it a professional kitchen feel. The kitchen cabinet doors are custom made and the thing to get from this is that IKEA kitchens are very customisable. This is quite a big kitchen space and the island in the middle breaks it up nicely and there is a good but usable distance between it and the sinks and hobs. And like a lot of the previous kitchens, there are a lot of lights in the kitchen cabinets and drawers. Custom IKEA Kitchen number 6 is an introduction to semi-handmade on IKEA frame. 
This IKEA kitchen is partial IKEA and partial the company Semi Handmade, which is a company that makes custom finishes and doors for IKEA kitchens. The kitchen cabinets here have an IKEA frame, but have the Semi Handmade fronts, which again makes the points that you can customize your IKEA kitchen any way you want, especially when it comes to the final look and style. So you can get the best of both worlds. And I get an IKEA frame with custom finishes, which saves you paying out for an entire custom kitchen. Custom IKEA Kitchen number 7, a DIY kitchen with loads of personality. This IKEA kitchen is very much a DIY job, and it highlights how personal kitchen design can be. Again, this kitchen consists of a lot of drawers rather than doors. It has a great spice rack drawer. They went with open shelving on the top, and the shelves have a nice rustic look, which contrasts the rest of the kitchen. The sink is a dual sink, and the countertops are white concrete, and I must say, they don't look like concrete at all. They're very nicely finished. This kitchen does have a black window frame, and it does look good against the white tiles. If they went with the dark grout between the tiles, it would have looked even better. I have to say, I love the chandeliers, and they look great, and add a lot of personality to this kitchen. So ask yourself, how can you add your own personality to your kitchen? Custom IKEA Kitchen number 8, a gold kitchen. Well, I really don't know what to say about this one, but again it shows how to make yourself in a custom IKEA kitchen. This kitchen has brass cupboards, side panels and handles and the caramel walls further highlight the gold cabinets. The black work top contrasts all this and sits well with the metallic finishes of the kitchen. Granted it's not my cup of tea, but it does highlight what is possible with a bit of imagination. Custom IKEA kitchen number 9 is a simple but elegant kitchen. This custom IKEA kitchen is in a garden flat in a farmhouse outside Berlin. The owners wanted a modern look without taking away from the rural setting and I've got to say they succeeded. The cabinets are from the IKEA Method and Laxerby collections, but have been painted for a different look. The induction hob is a new TID4 element induction cooktop. The colour scheme works well with its setting as this room gets quite a lot of natural light, so the black cabinets work well. They also contrast the white plastered walls and the fair faced concrete floors. It's a simple but elegant look. A question to ask yourself is how much light does your kitchen area get and how can you choose a bespoke colour scheme to complement that? Custom IKEA Kitchen number 10, The Power of Colour. This kitchen cost $36,000 and took 3 weeks to build. The kitchen cabinets used here are Tiggs Rid and Jarsta High Gloss Orange and the colour scheme works brilliantly together. You'll notice that the dining table and chairs match this colour scheme. The timber floor also works well with it. All in all, this kitchen shows a great use of colour, and as with most of these kitchens, the owners preferred the drawers rather than the doors and shelves. Custom IKEA Kitchen number 11, Cookbook Writer's Kitchen. This kitchen is another IKEA and semi-handmade hybrid, and is in fact made for a cookbook writer, so it was more or less a professional kitchen. The worktops are marble, and the kitchen cabinets have a nice wood finish that is complemented by the Blue Island colour. And finally, we have Custom IKEA Kitchen number 12, How to Customise an IKEA Kitchen. So to finish our list, we could summarise what it takes to customise an IKEA kitchen. Number 1, you can change your kitchen cabinet doors. Number 2, change your knobs, handles, taps, etc. Number 3, simply paint your current cabinet doors. Number 4, go with an alternative worktop. Or number 5, go for an inventive splashback. And the kitchens that we spoke of earlier incorporate most of these. Incorporate these into your kitchen design so you can get that custom kitchen look without the price tag. Thanks for checking out our custom IKEA kitchens video. If you want to see more info like this, then there are links below to the articles on our website, bespokehomedesign.com.